What's up you guys? I've just moved in a new apartment. If I explain a little bit about what's going on to my life, I was living with my boyfriend temporary in Tokyo but as we got married and expecting a baby we had to move to a bigger place so we found a really nice place in Chiba so we got out of Tokyo I am going to show you how I moved tips and advice on how to move and furnish in Japanese apartment also give you a little bit of uh, empty apartment tour so let's get started my new shape I guess <laughs> but anyways <laughs> we are doing IKEA shopping and other you know furniture shopping today to get the rest of the stuff hopefully we need desks bed frame mattress curtains yeah we need some greens yeah let's see what they got oh vegetables Veg vegetables <laughs> Yep, it's golden week, baby. I'm so hungry. So this is plant-based katsu curry. I don't know what the katsu is actually. It's not meat, I guess. And minestrone. not packing is almost done it still looks very very messy but yeah it's on progress the moving company we hired is called Torefaku which I really recommend because they do pretty much everything and they are inexpensive for example when we want to throw these kind of big stuff fridge to a washing machine we usually have to, you know, make a reservation or phone call or something like that and then, you know, do a separate um, procedure. But if I just ask them, they're gonna uh, get rid of it. Of course it costs, but we don't have to do a separate procedure. And then if it's a good condition, they even buy to resell as used furniture. Uh, so yeah, that makes things much easier. Also, we got some cup noodles <laughs> so that we don't have to cook and pack, you know, cooking stuff, kitchen stuff as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do do brain eh? Because we were packing all day today, so yeah, kind of pooped out. Pooped out? Do you not tired? Pooped. Just pooped. You don't say pooped out. No. no. Pooped out sounds like it went somewhere. But pooped just means I thought. Oh. Okay. Pooped. What else do we have to do? The way lift on, finish, getting all the boxes sealed and labeled. Ah, oh, mendoksai. <laughs> I hate packing. Even, you know, traveling kind of stuff. Mm. I hate packing. Yeah, the process. Packing. Even though, you know, this whole moving thing, new place, it's yeah. so exciting. But packing part, I really hate it. So today is the moving day and I am here in the new apartment. Right now Justin is handling our last apartment and I am handling this new apartment. You know, to make sure either of us are with the movers. 
Once you move in, you have to check, you know, some stuff like the electricity, gas, water, and stuff. And seems like it's all fine. One thing I worry about though is this air conditioner because this one is not belong to the landlord, it belongs to us. It's actually called Zanryu Butsu. It's not the one the landlord owns, but it's something that former resident left. You might think that, oh yeah, it's a free air conditioner, yay. But you have to make sure that it still works because if it doesn't, we have to take care of this you know, the repairment or replacement even. Maybe this is something we should have negotiated because uh, some landlords still take care of it as long as, you know, it's in the apartment. When you are doing apartment hunting in Japan and see air conditioner, you probably want to ask if it belongs to a landlord or it's something someone left in the past. A little tip right there. Hope it works. Okay, so far it doesn't look broken, it doesn't smell bad or anything, so we can use it for a while. That's a relief, that's a relief. Well, before the movers coming in, I will do a quick empty apartment tour. As you can see, I am right now in a Genkan entrance, and uh, as you already know that, we take off shoes here put it in a shoe box yeah it's a big space good and this apartment is so we call mezzonetto style apartment so it has two floors actually and um, yeah this one's the floor it's ground floor we put washing machine here washing machine section and this place is kitchen slash dining slash living <laughs> kind of situation I guess it's not super spacious probably after we put our uh, fridge and stuff like that but I really like that it has you know sunlight very much and we are planning on putting dining table here and um, yeah and we have Interphone, we, we called it interphone, but you can see uh, when someone's visiting. Kitchen is, yeah, quite tiny. <laughs> it's not big, but um, we are thinking about getting an uh, extend kitchen here or counter, kitchen counter here. So we'll see how big it's gonna be. This is the bathroom section. So this one's kind of unique because <laughs> here is the toilet and it's kind of separated <laughs> shower room here so I don't know it's Japan some Japanese people don't like this kind of style but we didn't exactly mind it so do do brain eh? Um, stretch here this one this toilet though doesn't have wash it which it's necessary for me so <laughs> I think we will attach um, wash it and now moving on to the second floor I have to be careful because my belly is big right now and then this stairs <laughs> this stair is kind of little dangerous. But yeah, on the left, it's gonna be a baby room. We haven't got so many baby things yet, but yeah, it's gonna be baby bed and toys and stuff. And on the other side is gonna be our bedroom slash office. Because it has height, it looks kind of spacious, which I really like, and then you know, all the sunlight coming in. And we have a pretty big stretch here, 
and there. I can't, to be honest, I can't really reach there. It's really high up there, so I let Justin handle it. But yeah, also nice that we don't have uh, you know neighbor really close to this apartment. So yeah, nice view. So yeah, this is a new apartment. It's not super big, but definitely bigger than we used to live. So we are really excited to moving in and it's still empty. But once we finish, I'm going to share, you know, all the rooms with fully furnished style. So. Okay, moving day two, and uh, we have to get rid of these uh, dumbbell. <laughs> dumbbell, what is it? Cardboards, cardboards. We have to get rid of them before the dining table and chairs and kitchen counter come. A lot of other cardboards upstairs, but yeah, for now we have to sort them out and uh, to make some space. Man, this allergy. I think it's reacting to uh, the, the, all the dust. <laughs> oh, my nose is running. Running? Yeah. Eh, running? Running. Yeah. Nose is running. Nose is running. Yes. Really? Because yeah, like, if you turn on the water, oh. you leave the water running. But it's, it's a weird. Nose is running. I don't get English sometimes. But yeah, it's like crazy volcano. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a tough week until you know we set everything down. New laser coal. Nice and big, ne? I'm sure people in the US use a lot bigger fridge but Well, IKEA stuff just arrived yesterday and uh, we've been building our desks and bed frame. Well, mainly Justin is doing. But yeah, that's, these are pretty much we ordered. It's still so much mess, but yeah, we're gonna work on that. And I will show our fully furnished apartment on the future video so stay tuned for that but anyways i'm gonna wrap up this vlog thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't i appreciate your support and i will see you in the next video bye